Hey folks, welcome to New Master That Riff lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Secret Loser by Ozzy Osbourne, which of course has Mr. Jakey Lee on guitar off the Ultimate Sin album. So tuning-wise, I'm a half step down here. So I've got E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and then E flat. Now, this is a, a four-bar riff. Uh, it's an E minor, pretty much. I'm going to kick things off with a good old rock slide down the E and A strings. So I'm just going to play an up around about the 12th fret area here. And just sliding down with the, the middle finger. After I've done that, I'm basically going to be playing a, an E power chord. So how we're doing this is I'm going to do a hammer. Open A string, open D string. Hammering onto the second fret batting with that first finger at, on the same strings. Then I play the E string twice. Yeah, now I'm playing that with a down up, you could do it with down down. Then what uh, Jake Lee's going to do is move a power chord up to the kind of seventh position. But how he plays this is he's going to bar across the seventh fret, uh, the A, D and G strings here with the first finger. And then put the third and fourth fingers on to complete the power chord at the ninth fret of the D and G strings there. Now picking wise, I tend to pick this with a down up, down up down. And get an up stroke in that power chord there. Yeah. You might find you want to do like a down down up. I mean, you're going to do a down stroke there. I was having a look at uh, all the live footage of uh, kind of Jake Lee playing it, and by all I mean like two videos or something, and there was no kind of clear shot just to see how he's going to play in this. So I would basically say go with whatever kind of feels comfortable for you. I always feel a little bit awkward cross picking at kind of tempo. So when I do it, I'm, I'm lightening the pick touch just a little bit, just to kind of let it flow a bit more. So once we've done that, I take that third and fourth fingers off to play the, the kind of inverted power chord here at the seventh fret of the, the D and G string. So I'm just holding the first finger on basically. So slowly that first bit sounds like this. So from that E power chord, we then do this. So what I'm doing here is I'm back to my E string, pan muted twice. Then I'm going to basically play a full E minor chord here. So I'm buying right across the seventh fret, the A up to the B string, and my third finger is on the ninth fret, the D, and my fourth finger is ninth fret, the G, and then I've got my middle finger, that minor third, eighth fret, the B string there. And then I take uh, those fingers off and leave the first finger on. Again, picking wise, I would do maybe like a down, up, down, up, yeah, for that bit. Now after that, we're going to move into a C power chord now. Now, again, I couldn't really find any good shot of Jake Lee playing this to work out how he's doing this. I think he's moving like the power chord shape like this, rather than a bar. If you were doing a bar, you'd hear these notes maybe ring out as you're kind of sliding down. So after you've done that, there's a little gap there, so he is transitioning. I would move to my third and fourth fingers onto the seventh fret of the G string there, D and G strings, and slide it back to the fifth fret. And once I get to that fifth fret, I bring my first finger in to play the root note, third fret of the A string, two palm mutes, yeah, or down up. So that. Yeah. Now this bit is where we change. So now we're kind of mirroring what we did with the E power chord. So from here, I then move to bar with my middle finger here. So I'm keeping my root note on with the first finger. And this is a typical kind of Jakey Lee stretchy thing, you know. So from here, I'm then going to appeggiate that C power chord. So I'm doing down, up, down. But I'm batting with that middle finger. Then what I'm going to do is play 7th fret of the G and the B string with the 4th finger batting. Yeah. So, when you hit that, again, if I'm doing down, up, down, up, stroking that, then I take it off, and I'm hitting basically, it sounds like he's definitely hitting the D and the G strings, but you might even hear the B string there as well. Yeah. So that's a kind of weird little bit. Oops. Yeah. And then after this, he's going to end with these two chords. Um, 
I think the original track has got multiple uh, guitars on it, guitar tracks. So what I've done is kind of done what kind of Jake Lee does live, because I can hear this note in here and things. Um, but what he's basically playing is these two chords of like a, a C with the E in the bass, first inversion of a C and then D with F sharp in the bass. Yeah. But to get to that, we've just done this. There's a little percussive sound there, and then there's another little little percussive sound to lead into the chords. So it could be a transition, you know, as he's moving. But when I basically have a quick down up, then what I'm going to be playing is third finger on that seventh fret of the A string, first finger bar is the fifth fret D and G. Yeah. And then I move it up two frets. So I've got that, you know, ninth fret, then seven, seven with the first finger there. Okay. So slowly that kind of goes uh, from here. Yeah. I did wonder if there was a quick, like five to seven kind of palm mute thing there, but I don't think it's that defined. Yeah. And he's getting from this position, which in one of the clips he does appear to be holding this kind of shape. Yeah, so it's one of these things recorded versus live. There's multiple tracks going on, but this will give a good kind of uh, a kind of version of it. Okay, it's actually four bars. So you basically repeat that again uh, and basically end it just with the same hammer on kind of power chord as the verse starts. So if I play the whole thing slowly, it sounds like this. Your four bars. Uh, also, once I'm going to say when you get to this chord tier, uh, just kind of slide it off to get it back into the. Yeah, and that's it. Classic bit of Jakey Lee, kind of mysterious playing. He's got not not a complete unorthodox style, but it's tricky sometimes to decipher what he's doing with things. So have fun with that, guys. Um, I want to say a huge thanks to David for suggesting the riff uh, over at the Patreon group. If that's something you're interested in, uh, lesson suggestions or requests, uh, or if you want animated tab uh, for this lesson or any of the, the previous lessons, actually, or, or access to the Helix patch, if you've got a Line 6 Helix, uh, Helix come over to the, the Patreon group and check it out. Uh, you get access to that, plus all the backing tracks and stuff for the gear videos and things I've done before. Uh, if you're on other platforms, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, all those kind of places. And if you're not subscribed, if this is your first time here, if you like what you see, want more lessons, please subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you're kept up to date with my uploads uh, before they get lost in the, the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have fun with it, and I'll see you soon.